All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we've got some straps from Strapsco. Now, Haley reached out to me recently from Strapsco and asked about getting some of these straps on the channel, but guys, I gotta admit to you, I know about this company. I've actually ordered a number of straps from them over the years. I think I have a leather strap from them that I've had for probably at least three or four years. I've worn it on a number of different watches, and it's a really good strap. I also have a mesh bracelet that I bought from them that I wore on my Breitling Super Ocean that I had for quite a while. Yes, I don't have that watch in the collection anymore. I, I need to really do a collection video, but that's that's beside the point. But So uh, Haley reached out to me, asked about getting some of the straps here on the channel. I said, yeah, sure, go ahead and send some out. So guys, this is a, I guess you'd call it a sponsored video. They did send these straps out to me to the channel to, to keep. So Probably save them, or at least a couple of them, for a giveaway down the road, but I wanted to show you guys some of their straps and put them on some watches. So uh, this was the paperwork inside the packaging she sent, so you can check out their social media uh, information there on the front and the back. And I don't know, maybe try to use that promo code FAM15, get a 15% discount on your next purchase, and it may work out for you. But guys, a whole load of straps she sent out. Check all these straps out. So we've got some NATO straps. I do believe this is a leather NATO strap. We've got, of course, a, a Bond strap, which yeah, it, crazy that she sent this out. She sent this out, um, you know, before we knew what happened with uh, losing Sir Sean Connery uh, just this last week. And kind of a bummer, but it's awesome that I got one of these straps in, so we'll definitely throw a watch on that one. And then uh, a couple from the Dasari lineup, which I think is kind of one of their... I don't know, newer, uh, maybe higher grade lineup of watch straps, but really nice setup there. And then another leather strap in here. These may be all three from the Dasari lineup, but let's go ahead and start opening them and take a look at them. I'm really actually interested in this one. I really like this gray uh, leather rally style strap here. Uh, I can tell through the packaging it has quick release pins, but I'm I'm kind of thinking what this one would look like. Excuse my cut on my arm there, guys, but what it would look like on the Sarb 087, or not the Sarb, this is the SBDC 087, the newest of the Alpinists, but I'm kind of wondering what it'll look like. So let's go ahead and open the package here, pull out each uh, side of the strap and see what we got. So actually, yeah, just dump it out of the package. So nice uh, leather straps here, as you guys can tell. Uh, just, just standard hardware, nothing fancy going on the brushed hardware. Uh, it's a nice uh, leather strap, like I said, quick release pins. This is a 20 millimeter, uh, and I do believe they offer a number of different colorways. This is the gray one, but I think they have a bunch of different colors available at the website. So, And I think these ones are right around $34, $35 a piece, so not too bad when you look at the full grain leather. Really nice straps that Strapco offered. And like I said, I've got a leather one that I've had for... I, it's either three to three or four years, and it it's really in great shape. Worn it on a ton of watches and never had any issue with it. I like the way it's got the gray on top with the uh, the kind of pebble, pebbled leather on the bottom. Really, really nice looking strap. So that's one we'll set aside. We'll definitely get that on a watch. Now this is I'm not sure if this is the the stamped leather or the genuine um, crocodile, but this is a really really good looking strap. Go ahead and see if I can find the. There we go. The same way, we'll just kind of dump them out here and look at them. So nice strap, definitely an alligator style strap. Again, gonna look good on the Sarb. The uh, or I keep calling it the Sarb. This is the SBDC 087, but it's gonna look really good on there. Definitely cool looking strap, alligator style there. So we'll set that one aside. What's this last leather one? Not quite sure. This is gonna be green. So I might have to find a green watch in the collection and throw this one on, but nice looking leather. This is almost a um, kind of a brush leather or something on top of there. It looks really nice, clean, white stitching, looks good. And again, that pebbled, uh, you know, underlayment, which looks great. Straps Co. emblazoned on the bottom, the genuine leather up there, 20 millimeter again. And I love the fact that you're using the quick release pins. So, and we've got a couple NATO straps down here. I think this is a 20 millimeter. I think this is a 22 leather strap. So let's go ahead and uh, throw all these watches or all these straps on some watches and see what they look like. All right, so really quickly, I grabbed a few watches for the collection. And guys, I want to show you, actually, I'm going to put the um, Seiko Alpinist really quickly on the leather Dasari strap. All right, so it's crazy how much a strap can change a watch. So I bought this watch on the bracelet because I kind of knew it was going to be a strap monster, but this really, really looks good. This is the Dasari. This is the three-hole uh, rally style strap. Um, I'll leave a link to their website down below in the description, but this looks really, really awesome on this watch. Um, <clears throat> kind of knew this was going to be this way with this watch, but looking really good. But let's go ahead and throw it on the 
the alligator one because I think that's also going to look really nice. So let's see what that one looks like on the same watch. All right, again, so this alligator style leather with the, the vintage style stitching here, again, really, really dresses up the uh, SBDC 087 Alpinus. It looks super, super good on there. Um, we're going to throw it on the green one lastly, and then we're going to throw a couple other watches on the NATO straps. But I just want to show you, it's crazy. And these are all quick release, um, you know, spring bars in here. So it really makes it, I mean, literally, you know, 15, 20 seconds, you can change out the strap on a watch like this and just completely dress it up. So if you guys have, you know, one watch that you're in love with and you want to buy a few different straps, I mean, these really offer you so many different options. So let's go ahead and throw the green one on here and see what it looks like. So it's probably just a combination of this amazing watch and the straps. Man, every single one of them has looked amazing on here. This is, this is I guess, what you call a brushed finished leather, and it just feels super nice. The stitching is really, really impressive. I'm going to bring it up here a little closer so you guys can see it. All of them have just this really, really nice, well-done finish with the straps co and blaze in there and they're stamped in the leather. It looks looks really nice. Now, for the last two, guys, I'm going to zoom out here. I brought up uh, I brought up the two different watches in the collection. So we got the Casio Duro we're going to throw on the leather. And then, of course, um, we're going to throw the 16600 Sea Dweller on the Bond-style NATO strap to see what that looks like. Give me one second. All right, so the first one we're going to show is this beautiful leather NATO strap on the uh, the Hydro modded Casio Duro. I'll go ahead and show you guys the Hydro mod there. Look at that clarity all the way at that angle because it's been filled with uh, oil. So pretty crazy, but th this is a really, really high quality strap. Again, the stitching, super impressive. The spacing of the holes I've noticed on all of these straps, they've got a lot of good holes in there, nice, nicely spaced out. So really going to fit many different wrists. This one is actually backed. I'll show you that guys there with this nice leather backing, which looks really good. Again, the pebble style backing on there, but that looks really, really nice. And, you know, last but not least, we're going to go out with the, the Bond NATO here, guys. And again, you know, we lost uh, Sir Sean Connery this last week. And, and this is a, a seatbelt style um, NATO strap here. This one was a little bit tight, to be honest with you, to get on the, the 16600 Sea Dweller, just because the, uh, the, Pins are pretty tight to the case there, but you know, high quality, um, very nicely done, premium hardware. What you'd consider. Um, I do wish it had the floating keeper here, um, you know, at the top, but it is what it is, and these look really, really nice. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and throw this one on my seven inch wrist and see what it looks like here. Now, again, I just threw it on here, but really nice looking NATO straps, and uh, probably have to tuck that back a little bit. Eh, we'll just leave it out there. So, good looking NATO strap, and here's to James Bond, right, guys? So. Thanks again, Haley, for sending this uh, these straps out to the channel to take a look at. Really nice, high-quality straps, guys. I'll leave the links to straps code down below in the bottom, and you can check them out. But I really think they make really high-quality stuff. Like I said, I've, I've been buying their stuff for years before they even sent anything to the channel. So that just kind of tells you that I, I have faith in them. So, all right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.